all the drones are communicated all together in permanent. They are sharing, obviously, their position. They are sharing what they are observing. Not far from Paris, this French manufacturer is demonstrating how a swarm of drones operates using artificial intelligence. The company plans to market this technology next year. The operator will be able to give very high-level orders to the drone. For example, he'll say to the AI, OK, I need you to patrol this zone here. The system will understand the notion of patrolling and will deploy and patrol the area. We're moving on from the era when you had to control every movement with a joystick. The drone lives its life and will apply that to the whole swarm. At its centre near Bordeaux, Thales is working on more than 100 projects that use AI like this hardware that improves the performance of territorial surveillance radars. We're going to connect this laptop to the radar's calculator, and thanks to it, we can identify our targets of interest 100 times faster than before. The Rafale jets will have AI. It's also beginning to be incorporated into ground-based radars. It's become standard practice. In the hills above Antibes in the south of France, this startup generates digital images on which to train AIs. Here I'm generating images to train a drone to detect vehicles in a desert environment. The current situation means that there's a lot of investment in defence, on the European level in particular. There's an effort to achieve greater sovereignty in the AI field too. Initially, these entrepreneurs were betting more on developing automatic vacuum cleaners. They say the shift from civilian to military applications gives their work a patriotic dimension.